Yeah, good question. Very good question. I think it's probably easier to get to optimal hybrid in a smaller organization because there are fewer preferences to take into consideration. But I think organizations of every size need to learn to adapt to it because of the risk of not adapting successfully. That whole piece between embracing hybrid work and the link to accessing the full labor market. You know, if you can't access that full labor market because you have been either unable to embrace hybrid working or unable to integrate it successfully, you're you're literally, I suspect, limiting the life expectancy of your business. You're only going to be spinning your wheels because if you think about the cost of continuously having to replace staff who are dissatisfied and finding better working arrangements elsewhere, I think several years ago, the CIPD pushed out some research saying that the cost of replacing a staff member, and this is somebody earning less than 40,000, the cost is about 30,000 when you factor in recruiting fees and induction and so on. If you're looking at a senior staff executive, that cost goes up to sort of 70, 80,000. And you also need to factor in, which is an intangible, but the cost of disengagement, the cost of low productivity caused by somebody who's already mentally checked out of that organization. So yeah, regardless of your size, you are going to have to get on board with this. 